Hey, welcome back everybody. So, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the new schedule. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of work for me. Uh, the idea behind it was I do the same number of videos, but I would kind of mix up the topics and subjects so that, uh, we kind of cater to everybody that watches the channel. Uh, you know, I've got people that have been watching me for a long time. I don't know if it's from the beginning, but a long time. Uh, where I mostly kind of did on the table. I've got people that have watched some of my, my newer game content that came around uh, when I reviewed games or books or whatever. But uh, overall, it's kind of a very eclectic audience. I guess that's kind of one of the reasons it takes so long to grow is because I don't just focus on one thing, but you know, the object of the channel is not to have a channel. The object of the channel is to just share the guy, share my hobby with you guys and the stuff I do. So. I'm not, I'm not doing a channel just to do a YouTube channel or else there'd be a lot of other things I could do, uh, you know, to get views and subscribers, like teach my puppy how to ride a bike or something, you know, ridiculous. But anyway, so the idea behind the schedule though was to kind of do a little bit more for everybody. And probably the hardest thing on that schedule that's going to be the stick to is going to be the painting. Because as I've said before, I'm not not really the type that can just sit for a long time and paint and talk and show you what I'm doing. N not to mention that my painting is no different than what you guys do and probably not as good as what some of you do. But be that as it may, every now and then I do get people who ask me, you know, hey, I'd like to see how you paint that. And sometimes when people ask to see how you paint something, they're not necessarily trying to see, quote, how to paint, like how to move the brush and oh, coat it twice. What they're basically trying to see is, you know, what kind of paint scheme are you going to go for? What kind of mood are you trying to represent? And one of the things I got a message on that for was with this, uh, with this Obsidian Crypt by uh, Reaper Miniatures, where I did a video unboxing that and putting it together for you guys. So that's what we're going to do in the first episode. We're going to paint this. I've got a few other things on the table. Uh that I will probably try to paint up while I'm at my table and then show you guys what they look like. I may not get to all of it. Uh, it's just usually when I prime things, I do try to like to prime more than one thing and I'm going to have to prime this. And then there's other stuff I was just going to show you uh, how it looks once it's painted. Like this dumpster, which I put together a while back and I really do need to paint it. So I was thinking of maybe uh, starting in on that. So what I'm going to do, instead of sitting here with a brush and talking to you while I dabble paint on everything, I'm going to go in stages. So I'm going to show you kind of where I'm starting. I'll show you the next step. There may be a few things I'll actually show you uh, that I'm working on as I do them. But for the most part, I'm going to kind of keep everything moving in stages. All right, guys, be right back. Hey, welcome back, everybody. So I am still waiting on the uh, obsidian crypt to finish drying. I, uh, I've just primed it in some black. But in the meantime, I thought I would show you guys uh, what I did get painted. So first off, we have kind of this cockfighting pit that's gonna go into the shanty town. And this has been painted with what is called, I think it's called a barnyard wood. I really like this. Uh, it's a folk, folk art barn wood but this is this is a really good color for doing wood if you don't want to go with the traditional brown color it, it already has kind of a weathered look to it you can put a wash agri airsaid or some other type of wash on there i have also finished painting the reaper dumpster got a few spots here i will probably weather this up uh just got to find like a foam insert so i can go through and I will probably I will I might show you guys how I how I weather these up. It's kind of a a modeling technique that we use on uh, military models. But uh, yeah, I like the way that came out. It obviously already looks like a dumpster. And then the last thing is this dollar store ambulance, which I have converted into a tactical team van. And that's why I went with the black. Uh, I may put some decals on it 
And I wish I would like to maybe it put a SWAT logo on there, but I don't have anything and I don't want to make it look crappy. So I'm going to leave it kind of in all black. That way it could be used by a lot of different, uh, different operators. Uh, but I might just put some numbers and insignia on there. Uh, but I'll probably show you what this looks like at the next on the table. But I just wanted to see if it could be done. And it actually, I think it actually came out pretty well. I had to use like a heat gun to get the labels or stickers off. There's a little residue from where they were at. But I mean, just sitting on the table like that, uh, you have a team coming out of there. I don't think it, I don't think it's going to look bad. Uh, matter of fact, let me see if I can show you the scale. So there you go. These are some of my uh, Rangers. I think these are Eureka. But they're basically 25 millimeter. And I think they scale up pretty, wig, pretty well. Because obviously if this is a tactical van, they would have surveillance and electronic equipment and everything in there. So it is going to be you know proportionately bigger than a normal van but if you just look at the door area where the uh where he would go in there the driver or somebody would enter it you can see that that's that's fairly much on scale i mean he'd have to climb up there but the rest of the door size and even the tires look pretty good to me so and the cool thing not that it's gonna come into play is that you can still you can still illuminate it so yeah, so I think that came out pretty good. But that's what I've got painted up so far. Uh, I will check on the crib and then get back with you guys. Take care. God bless. Okay, we are back, guys. So I'm still waiting on the crib to finish drying. It didn't get dry. But in the meantime, I'm going to weather this up a bit. Now, to do this, you're going to need one of these. At least this is what I use. And unfortunately, they're getting harder to find. I'm, it seems like manufacturers aren't putting them in the box anymore they're just dumping miniatures in but I've got some German gray paint from Vallejo all of that and all you're gonna do is dab it like this across the object uh, you want to hit what would obviously be the places I think that would see the most wear so if you can see that and usually you know I try not to overdo it but sometimes you can get you can get pretty uh, motivated <laughs> uh, alright so let's do a little more take some more German gray we're gonna dab this in there that little dot in the middle I'm gonna clean that up now this was painted with this Reaper Christmas wreath which came in their holiday paint set I don't really use them paints so whenever I just have something that's kind of a throwaway I'll break those out and that's kind of what happened here so I am gonna touch up that one spot there which I don't know why that came up there uh, like that. It looks like I got some of the black from the lid on there. So hopefully this will cover that up. If not, then I'll really weather it some more and cover it up. But we'll get that a chance to dry. And while we're waiting on that to dry, though, we're going to put some more of this paint on here. We're going to go down the bottom area, sort of around there. So we'll work that in you know work it in the backs and the sides and this just makes gives the impression that you know the metal the paint has come off and is exposed to metal now what you can do is you can follow that up with oh I got some green on there you can follow this up with some type of uh, rust color. But I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna leave it at now. Let me see if I can put this fancy light on here. 
And so as you can see, I probably got a little bit carried away right there, but oops. But, uh, you know, that also adds a little realism to it. It doesn't look as uniform. Uh, then your lids can come down. That off of there. And yeah, I mean, you could, if you, if you know how to put, you know, graffiti on here, or you know how to do stenciling or letter writing, you can do that and maybe get a better effect. But all I was doing here was just kind of adding those natural weathered looks. So it would kind of look like probably one you have sitting outside your apartment complex or something right now. And again, I think this scales up pretty well. You had a team that can take some cover behind, behind there. But that's all I got for now. I'm going to, uh, like I said, I will check on the Obsidian Crypt and be right back. All right, so we are back, guys. We have pretty much the Obsidian Crypt is dry. You don't really have to prime the inside in there. We got that, some of our other accessories. So the first thing I'm gonna do is crack right here on this base. That is going to be a simple dry brush. And I like to use something called stone. And in this instance, I think I have, have some left. It's kinda, what I, the one I like to use is kinda hard to find because it's a, it's a reaper and a lot of the local stores don't carry the reaper paint lines uh, so it's hard to get actually it's game color but it's also it's still hard to get uh, and this is called game color stonewall gray so hopefully I have enough left that we can get some on some paper and some cards and we can do a dry brush so let's just take some kind of card out again you can go to some quote unquote professional videos and they can probably show you how to do this a lot better than I can but since I promised you guys some painting videos I will do my best. So what I am doing off camera is I am mixing up some of this uh, I am taking some of this uh, uh, stone and preparing it to dry brush so I've got a big dollar store brush and I'm just gonna start right in here with this now that doesn't look like it looks like it's not enough paint on there so try this this is what I took the paint out of the bottle with so this is a little too wet but it's actually actually looking pretty good so let's try this maybe it's just a brush so I'm definitely paying attention to the edges and then we're going to work right here in the middle. And remember, you use the crappiest brush you can find, which is, again, something the professionals will tell you. So this is pretty crappy. And you don't need a lot of paint. So this brush had too much paint on it to begin, as you can see right here. But as I get up to this other area, it's pretty much a dry brush. So, and like, this is really a accessory. So I am not 
trying to put too much work into that. That's pretty much that's pretty much the best I'm going to do with that. So next we will start on this and I'll tell you what I have planned for that. Okay, so we are back. I was trying to decide what I was going to do with this. Now this is supposed to be an obsidian crypt, meaning it's it was not used for good purposes to begin with. But I'm going to pretend that the crypt has been uh, abandoned long ago. That uh, a party of adventurers long ago drove off the occupants. So I want it to look a little bit beat, a little bit weathered. I also want to go for a different style. Like I don't want to go with just the regular stone. I've used that in a lot of my buildings. So what I think I am going to do is I am going to go with a reddish color. Uh, and not red red, but reddish. So in particular, I am going to use this model color black red. I'm going to put some of this down. And then pretty much try to dry brush this on. Again, it may not work. So I'm trying to find a good brush to do this with. So this brush is kind of uh, hairy and fuzzy. So maybe it'll work. It might not. Some of these brushes absorb too much of the paint in a watery way. And they don't transfer it. But this one is, I don't know, it's not too bad. It's more of a wet brushing than a dry brushing right now, which I don't mind. So not sure how that shows up but it's kind of the effect I was going for come around here to the other side I will probably do the interior bricks a different color and I'm definitely gonna do the roof a different color So we're putting some more, I'm putting some more paint on my thing. And we're just doing these up and down motions here. And so with this, I'm not trying to cover the whole thing. Matter of fact, I'm specifically not trying to cover the whole thing. You know, it's just to give the look that one time maybe the whole thing had this color. So we've done that. And so as you can see, it's kind of getting that uh, hue or whatever. So like I said, I'm not going to sit here the whole video and just show you every little paint stroke. Instead, what I will do is I'm going to continue this and then I will show you, I will show you what it looks like when I get back. Hey guys, so we are back. I'm just going to show you the progress I've made. So as you can see, I've given it kind of a, uh, a tin or a brass or coppery looking plating to the roof, which I think goes with the uh, theme that they were going for. Um, see if I can change the lighting so it shows up a little better. But, uh, the key to doing this is you do not want to overdo it. Meaning you do not want to uh, 
paint in everything, right? Because otherwise it's going to look like it's been well maintained. So, for example, on the roof here, you can see the black spotches and all that. That's on purpose. You don't, you don't want to start painting in everything. You know, when you're going for a worn look like this, you know, you want to uh, use a big brush, you know, and just kind of hit it in a wide as fashion as possible but you know you're going to miss things and that's intentional so the next thing I'm going to do is paint the uh, some of the bricks or dry brush them with some of this uh, stone gray I, I haven't really used this on a building before but I have been using it and I like it it has a it has a look reminiscent of uh, reminiscent of a stone like picking up a stone so I will be back and show you guys that. Okay, we are back and I am calling this done. This is just a very quick paint job that gets this on the table. Like I said, I wanted it to have a somewhat dilapidated look, but, uh, you know, I also wanted it to, you know, have some paint that maybe it would give you an idea of what it used to look like. I mean, you could put some grass and some moss and everything growing around it later, which I might do. But for the time being, you know, I got so many other things in my uh, queue that I am going to call this done. So I will try to take a few close-up pictures and I will add them... Uh, to the back of the video so let me know what you guys think about the painting format let me know what you think about the new schedule let me know what you think about the channel uh please like subscribe share this video if you if you belong to any kind of groups on facebook or other places where people are looking to uh you know get some hobby content and then uh consider just supporting the channel on patreon every little thing helps uh you know and it's nice to be appreciated it's sometimes you look and you wonder why you put up so many videos compared to other people who have a lot more people supporting them that might put up a video once a month or once every week so i guess it's kind of you know when you're at the bottom you got to kind of work harder to get to the top and then once you get there you put it on cruise control but Anyway, guys, take care. Hope everybody's blessed and safe. And uh, like I said, some of these other items, I will probably show you how they turn out uh, at the next on the table. These are going to be some of my contraband to be seized by my special forces guy. These are like some garbage bags that are going to be, you know, with trash that will be in my shanty town. I'm still working on these blocks and then my mattresses. So I will show you those guys uh, at the next on the table. And you can check the schedule to see when that's going to be. Take care. God bless.